Take a look at how much the NVIDIA calls from just one day of trading were up. Some up over 50%. And this is pretty normal for the options market. The best way to grow a small account quickly is with options. But attempting to grow an account quickly always comes with added risk. Let's take a look at the Tesla options chain on the same trading day. Many of these down over 20% in just one day. So today's video is going to be all about making use of the options scanner tool within Thinkorswim to find the right kinds of options to trade every single day. Within Thinkorswim, there are multiple filter types, one of which being option, which is of course what we're going to be focusing on today as it pertains to filtering out to only seeing scan results with specific option filters. However, there's really two major ways we can go about this within Thinkorswim. We can utilize the option hacker sub tab within the scan tab on Thinkorswim. And what this is going to do, as you can see here, is return to you specific option chains in the results. Whereas instead we could utilize the normal stock hacker within this still using option filters, but this will now only return us stocks in which the filter settings are set to true. So let's go ahead and start here with some ideas within the stock hacker before we move over into the option hacker tab. I think the number one mistake beginners make with trading options is trading options with extremely low volume which causes them to get awful fills and when you're trading a leveraged product like options fills are very very important let's take a look here at hims h-i-m-s this is a stock that's been going absolutely bananas a lot of beginner investors out there might want to go take a look at the hymns options chain and say something along the lines of well i'm interested in buying some long dated call options on this thing load up the january 2027 options and look to go buy like uh let's do this 80 strike they might be interested in buying a long dated 80 strike out of the money call but Take a look here at the volume column. It has only traded 16 contracts total on the last day, not to mention it has zero open interest, which means before the last trading day, there were none of these contracts open. Take a look now over at the bid versus the ask. The bid on this is at $21.60, while the ask is at $25. That is a... 400 point spread nearly 345 point spread on the just between the bid and the ask so if you go run out and just hit buy on this thing you're going to spend 345 dollars more per contract than what the current bid is set at that's not really something that you want to be attempting to actively trade right so let's scan for charts that have high options volume once again back within the scan tab and under the stock hacker sub tab i have created an options filter which you do by simply clicking on the option filter just like you would add any other tab and that provides you with another drop down of selections as they relate to options and i have set that the minimum option value must be at 25 thousand while the minimum volume on the stock this is a stock filter must be a million so essentially a name that trades a lot of shares and trades a lot of options this is going to provide you with a pretty solid list i've got 20 stocks here of candidates for active trading like let's go look at nvidia nvidia is on this list of course if i load up this and we start to take a look at some of the much shorter dated options i mean nvidia 139 strikes or this 140 uh, i can't tell i'm blind i think it's 140 strikes traded 159,000 contracts that bid is 237 that ask is 240 you are going to get much better fills there's going to be much higher exit liquidity when you're ready to exit this position in the future these are names you want to be more focused on for active trading this is a watch list a good watch list that you can keep an eye on 
four actively trading options. I think using the stock hacker tab and combining option filters, this is really the best thing you can do. Build yourself a watch list of stocks you might like to trade options on. So let's go ahead now and move out of the stock hacker sub tab and into this option hacker sub tab, which once again is going to allow us to use the same filters, use the same option filter as we used on the stock hacker sub tab. The difference is in the results. You'll see here we are returned actual options chains rather than just the names of tickers as you can clearly tell i've already come in and sort of messed around with this and built the scanner that i think looks to be pretty helpful so what i'm gonna do first is just go through the scan settings that i've set up here and why why i'm targeting this specific setting and just give you all this scanner before we come back and talk about some other capabilities of the option hacker sub tab. The first filter type obviously is of volume, but on this one, I've only set it to a thousand. Whereas on our stock hacker, I set it to 25,000 because remember once again, what is the option hacker actually scanning against individual option chains, not every bit of volume that has been traded on every chain under a stock's name like the stock hacker is doing so set the minimum volume to a thousand i've set an option type filter because almost every single trader has a direction that they see the market best hey i work best when i'm looking for bullish setups, so I only want to see calls, or I work best when I'm looking for bearish setups, so I only want to see puts. Obviously, whichever one that is for you, you would set that as your option type, or maybe you're someone who does trade pretty equally both up and down the market. You don't have to have this filter type turned on at all. Next, I have set up days to expiration and set it to a max of seven. Listen, if you are actively trading options, not just like investing in long dated options. If you're actively trading them. And once again, remember, we're going to get to this in a second too, but at the beginning of this video, I mentioned this is going to be for people attempting to grow their small accounts quickly, right? With growing a small account quickly, you need to find the most volatile names. Now that of course means it's going to come with more risk, but that's just the name of attempting to grow quickly. It's impossible in this game to grow quicker while also lowering your risk. Your risk is just going to increase as your potential reward increases. Anyway, looking for those more volatile names, you want to see shorter dated expirations. So the stocks or sorry, the options must be expiring within seven days within this week. Next, and on the same conversation of that search for volatility, I've set a minimum implied volatility at 100%. This means that only volatile names are going to appear on this list. The first one I see here is SMCI. If I go take a look at the stock SMCI, this is an extremely volatile mover, which is why it has an over 100% implied volatility Greek value in its options chain. So that is a setting I have set up once again for people looking for risk, looking for faster rewards. As I'm talking through this, if you're not looking for those like faster, higher risk rewards, you can adjust this stuff. Like maybe you set it to like 30 days of expiration and 15% implied volatility. If you're not looking for such crazy moves, I'm just creating the scanner once again for people looking for those crazy moves. And next, I also set an open interest to a minimum of a thousand. That means that the options chain has at least a thousand previously traded contracts that are still open. So essentially it's just not a stock that started trading options just today. It's been trading options. These chains have been trading hands. That's just another way to ensure that there's going to be an ex a decent level of exit liquidity when you are ready to get out of your position. Anyway, you can see here I'm being returned only 41 options chains, which is good because if you think about options chains, I mean, every stock has tons and tons of chains. It's really hard to find a way to filter these just millions of chains that exist in the S&P 500 down to a good number like 41. 
and this scanner seems to do a decent job at it. Now, what do we do with this information? Because these results aren't just as clear as seeing the names of tickers and going and checking out their charts, right? I mean, you got SMCI 250221C50. Like, what does this mean? How do I take this information and actually trade it? Because who cares if I can find these options chains if I don't know the next step to potentially make money on the setups, correct? Well, what we're going to do first, we're going to come up to this middle hamburger icon. We are going to save this scan query. I will name mine options runners. That's just what I'm going to name my scanner. Then back over into our charts tab. If I open up this left hand pane under one of my watch list gadgets here, which if you don't see any, you can add using this plus button at the bottom. I should be able to come in and I should be able to load in my personal scanner that I just named options runners. If I can remember how to do uh, the alphabet, there is O and you'll actually notice it has this little green stock hacker symbol next to it versus the, or sorry, options hacker symbol versus the purple stock hacker. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to populate the results of my scan sorting top down by volume just like my scan is you'll see that smci options chain pop back up next what i'm going to do is i'm going to then link this and i'll link it to one red and because this is now this watch list gadget is now linked to one red and this chart is linked to one red when i click on this it should load this options chain data into the chart itself as i click on this you do see that indeed happened it actually popped up in order because i clicked inside of the last here it won't always pop up in order too but you'll see now you have the data for the option itself and we're looking at a weekly chart here let me come down to like an intraday five minute chart you can now see just like you would see with the stock, the price data for how the options chain has moved on a five minute time frame. And now because you can chart this data, and by the way, it will load in, of course, any chart that you click on from your watch list gadget over here now, that easy to do. And because we can load this in, I can now come up and at the kind of top right here into this square, I can go to show the sidebar and I can turn on my active trader tab. Now I can make use of the very powerful active trading software to trade options just like I trade stocks. I can one click buy, one click sell. You can set up multiple different order types, different time frames. You can set up, uh, you can buy the bid or buy the ask or sell the bid or sell the ask rather than market. Hundreds of thousands of different ways you can go about setting up the active trader, but you can now make use of this very powerful tool and take advantage of the setups that we just scanned for. Another very cool part about being able to chart the options data like this is you can now run studies or strategies against this chart once again, just like you would a stock. So I have a one minute scalping strategy that I have custom created. So let's go down into the one minute chart of this options chain. Once again, that was returned to us from our scanner. Let me turn on my, I think I called it RSI scalp. Yep, this is one of my custom strategies that I have built and my custom back test labels, something else that I built. And let's also turn on the floating PL just so you can get a more graphical view of how it's doing and take a look. We can now look at how this strategy has performed on an options chain like this over time. So you can now begin performing back testing against options just like you do stocks. And if you are at all interested in the two scanners that we covered in today's video or any of the hundred custom coded scanners, strategies like you just saw me run, custom studies like the back test labels that you just saw, they are all available for easy import into your own Thinkorswim application for one low price over on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Linked in the description down below. Go check it out, read the reviews, click on our codes and check out the price. Decide if it's something that you think could help accelerate your trading journey. Hopefully you found value in this video. Hopefully you are able to take a scanner like this and of course change it 
find what works best for you. This is just sort of an outline and a way to get you started, but hopefully you are now able to track down whatever types of options chains that you might be interested in trading within thinkorswim if you did learn something please take the half second hit the like button if you would like to continue learning make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with all that being said i'll catch you on the next one